hello and welcome to our youtube channel in this video we look at off-grid shipping container cottages these are 20 foot shipping container cabin designs with floor plans stay tuned as we explore this amazing design good welcome back this video is a response to requests from some of our subscribers to design container guest cabins or hotel cottages using shipping containers in this video we present to you an off-grid container cottage designed using 20-foot shipping containers to create self-sufficient guest cabins ideal to use as airbnb accommodation if this is the first time you are watching shelter mode videos feel free to visit our youtube channel we have over 100 videos on shipping container homes designs we also have guidelines on shipping container design ideas and last but not least we have amazing videos on existing shipping container homes from around the world feel free to subscribe and remember to click on the bell so that you don't miss on any of our amazing weekly videos so to start off on the design concept these modern shipping container cottages are designed using a single 20 foot shipping container to create a self-sufficient cabin of approximately 160 square feet of indoor space with an additional outdoor seating balcony plus small equipment chamber that accommodates all the equipment that is required for heating for solar power and also for wastewater management system on the foundation design you are encouraged before you deliver your containers on site you need to have an appropriate foundation to accommodate your container modules these containers in this particular design sit on steel pier foundations to elevate the containers away from moisture this elevated position is also good because it allows you to do your plumbing with ease in addition the elevated position creates a good height necessary to construct a juliet balcony on the structure and modification, each cabin is designed from a single 20-foot shipping container. The containers are used in their purest form and almost no special modification is done on the container modules except cutouts for the kitchen and the bathroom windows plus the main entrance door. All the doors and windows are optimal in size and hence there's no need for additional structural reinforcements. Every cabin design retains the original container cargo doors in an open position used to create a Juliet balcony, which is fitted with full height sliding glass doors to provide access out to the outdoors and also to offer maximum daylighting, seamlessly connecting the living space to the outdoors. In this single 20-foot shipping container cabin, we have ingeniously accommodated the following salient features. On the extreme end of the shipping container, we have a full bathroom, which is fitted with a pocket sliding door to help us save on space. Right in the middle, we have what I would call the utility space. We have a small kitchenette with adequate overhead storage we also have under the counter storage plus additional space that can accommodate a small fridge or a small washing machine on the opposite side of the aisle we have a wardrobe which is full height plus a small table which can be used as a dressing table or a reading table or even a small dining space 
On the open plan living space, we also have a lounge space, which is fitted with a pull-out sofa bed that can be used as a seat during the day and act as a bed space at night. On the other extreme end, we have a Juliet balcony, which provides the much needed outdoor sitting space that complements the indoor living. Each cabin is fitted with solar panels to generate electricity to power the unit in addition to the hot water solar heater that is mounted on the roof of each cabin. On the interior design, the overall interior of each cabin adopts a minimalist design. The cabin embraces multifunctional use of the space which allows the use of single space for more than one function. To minimize on the claustrophobic feel of living inside a shipping container box, the interior spaces are given a monochrome light colored finish. This is a, a good way to make the space look brighter and also bigger. You can explore similar materials to finish up your kitchen backsplash and also the bathroom walls. On insulation and temperature control, since shipping containers are made of steel and still being a good conductor of heat, in order to live in one, you need to have proper insulation and temperature control. The interior of the living space in this particular cabin is lined with an appropriate insulation material depending on the climate. Insulation is also essential to prevent condensation which can corrode the containers and cause mold. To achieve the best results in cold climate, you are encouraged to use closed cell spray foam insulation. In tropical climate, keeping away heat from your shipping container cabin is the biggest challenge and therefore any type of insulation will work. The containers are also covered with an additional roofing on top to shield the habitable space from weather elements and also to give design flair to the cottage units. On outdoors and exterior design, you are encouraged to use a one-trip shipping container and you are also advised to consider leaving the exterior as it is with the original color and markings. This will not only help you preserve its charm and history, but will also help you to save on the cost of painting the exterior fresh. Since we are providing additional cladding on each of these cabins, there will be no need to paint the containers. Each container cabin is covered with timber siding to mask the container walls and also to help the cabins and the cottages to integrate onto the pristine off-grid environment that are intended to be installed. If you like this cabin design and you'd want to construct your own guest house accommodation, then feel free to visit our website sheltermod.com and you can purchase the blueprints of this design then give them to your builder or fabricate it yourself as a DIY project. The standard set of drawings come in DWG and PDF formats to suit your preference. The set of drawings have dimensioned floor plans, elevations, roof plan, foundation plan and also section details. For any revisions, design inquiries or custom designs, you are encouraged to contact us on our website or send us an email or send us an email info at sheltermod.com. Contact us also on our social media pages. We are on Facebook. You can check us out on Instagram. We are also on Twitter and on Pinterest. Just search the word sheltermod and you should be able to contact us. So what do you feel about our new shipping container cottage cabin design? Kindly let us know by posting in the comments below. If you need further inspiration, feel free to visit our YouTube channel and check out our other container homes designs. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and see you next week as we explore another amazing shipping container design.